Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with Brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In this video today, we're going to hide a div after we scroll. In the last video we created this back to the top button here, which is great, it's effective, works very well. And we, we had it pretty see-through here until we hover over it and we hit it and it'll take us back to the top. That's great, works fine and I like it. But what if we don't want that actually to appear until we scroll down our page a ways? Which a lot of back to the top buttons, that's how they actually work. So to do this, we're gonna need to add a bit of script I could sit here and write some for you. I can write a bit of JavaScript, but it takes me a little bit of time. I'm not as fluent with it as I am with CSS and HTML. So what I've done is I found a fantastic bit of code here on Stack Overflow, and I'll put this link below the video. And thank you to whoever it was that wrote this code. And I'm gonna use this particular bit without the jQuery. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. And if we look at it, they're using an ID to scroll. And here they're saying if the Y axis, that's the amount that it scrolls, is more than 800 picks from the top, it's going to show. So they're using a CSS class of show there. That's their div ID. Sorry, their div class name, I should say, class name. And if it's less, if it's not greater than 800 else, it's going to hide it. And they've got a CSS class for hide. And if we expand this so we can actually see, we can see what they've got going on here. Here's their actual bit, just bit of HTML for their div, and they've given it a unique ID. And their class name is bottom menu hide. And here's their CSS. Now we've already got all of ours in there. We don't need a body tag. We've got our CSS for our little button. But we're going to need to add a class of hide and a class of show. I've noticed they've got this as left minus 100%. We're not going to want that. And we're not going to want the left zero because that's actually going to change the positioning and we don't want to change the positioning. So let's have a look here. They've actually got it here. So here it is. Let's just see what they got going on when we scroll down the page. Yeah, their menu pops across like that. All we want to do is for ours to appear. So I'm going to take these two classes that we haven't got in our CSS already. Uh, for those of you that haven't been following, take a look at some of our earlier videos if you need to see how we created that button. Let's open our Brackets text editor. Here we go, Brackets is a free text editor and you can download it from a, a link below. And here's our custom CSS. This is where we ended up. Here's our back to the top button. If I just go back to the site. This is our CSS for our back to the top button here. And there's a regular when it's not hidden or when we're not hovering on it. There's the hover class that takes the opacity back to one so we can it's no longer see through. And there's the same for the inside bit, the icon on the inside. Um, so let's just add those two classes that we copied here. There we go. And like I said, I'm not going to want the repositioning one. And what this high class is, is doing is giving it a, an opacity of zero, which is invisible. 
and then the show one's giving it an opacity of one which is fully visible okay well that's the CSS we're gonna have to add a little bit more in a moment save that now let's take the actual script itself let's grab this And let's go back to our HTML index.html script. So we want to put it in at the bottom here. And we're going to want to wrap it in some script tags just as we did before. So let's create some script tags. And let's just paste this code in there. Just tidy that up a little bit. Tab, tab, tab across. Okay, now what have we got going on here? Just want to move that over a bit. Okay, so my ID, get element by ID. So this is the ID of the element. And if we look at the element that we're working on, it's here. We've got no actual ID, so let's give in an ID, which has to be unique, ID equals, and let's give it a name. So the class is BTT for back to top. Let's just call it BTTP, BTTP, back to top. That way it's unique. We haven't used that before. If you want to, you can use the class name that they, they've got here, which is my ID or the ID name I should say. So I'm going to just change that to BTTP because that's our new ID now for our element we want to work on. Function is the Y window, the amount of scrolled up and down. If Y is greater than 800, let's change that. Let's make it a bit bigger than 800. Let's make it say 1200. Obviously you can put in what you want and my ID plus class name well that's fine because that's going to be my ID BTTP plus the class name which is BTT if we look at there it's class name so it's my ID plus the class name plus show or plus hide which is those CSS values that we put in here show and hide that's fine now bottom menu is the name of their div ours isn't ours is just BTT there's the class name BTT so we just need to change this of course if you want to you can just change your div classes and IDs to exactly what they've got here and you won't have to change any of this but I like to use my own all right okay well that's well, if I save that it's not gonna look any different at all at the moment and I'll tell you why in just a second um, I think we've got everything there BT okay let's save that let's go back to the site if you see it's there when we refresh if I scroll, it will probably disappear, then reappear when we get down. To, there we are, it disappeared. And it's reappeared when we've got down to around about a thousand pixels. But what I don't want is when we refresh, I don't want it to be visible when somebody loads this page. I want it to be invisible. The other bit's absolutely fine, it's disappearing when we scroll, but we don't want it there at all. See, it's reappearing. Just about there. I just want to check something. I don't know that that's 1200. It doesn't look like 1200. Let's put that back to 800. Let's 
fresh. Yeah, I guess it is. Let's see, let's put that back to 1200. Just to check, you know, um, it's coming in right there. Just as that our team section happens. If I put it back to 1200, I just wanted to check that. It didn't look like 1200 to me, but what do I know? <laughs> let's save that. Now it should come in a little further down when we refresh oh, we'll wait down there. there we go well it's at the bottom of the team section there so that is it was right there before so that 1200 is working just wanted to check that okay like I said at the moment when we refresh the page it's appearing there I mean it disappears as soon as we move but we don't I don't want it there at all so how are we going to get around that well I'm going to go into our CSS and let's this is our actual CSS for our div there the BTT I'm going to tell it to display none. That means it's going to start off as invisible. Okay, so display none. And what's going to happen now if I do it? It's just not going to appear at all, even after we scroll. So let's save that. Test out my theory. Refresh. Okay, there we are. And it's not there, which is what we want when we scroll down it's still not there we do want it now we want it to appear right about here so let's go back and figure that one out well it's pretty easy on on the the show let's just put a space between those I'm gonna add display tell it to display in block that way it knows when this activates this attribute here it's going to display it as a block which is a regular display pretty much okay let's save that back to the top and refresh okay still not there good that's what we want scroll down now it should appear halfway through this blue section team section there we go Boom, just at the bottom of the team section. Make sure it still functions, hover works, back to the top works. So there you have it. Scroll, and there it is appearing. Job done. Now like I say, you can put it wherever you want to on the page, just change that pixel amount like we did there. Um, and just remember to change your classes to whatever your classes are or alternatively change your div names to the ones that they used in their script there it's entirely up to you you've got an ID name and you've got a class name so you've got an ID name class name ID name class name so like I say you can either change it to what they've got you won't have to change anything in that script or you can change what they've got to what you've got if that makes sense and there's the value for the Y scroll the amount that it's going to scroll down the page so there you have it that is how to make your back to the top button or any div appear and disappear on scroll or I should say appear on scroll it'll work for any div this will also work fine on any HTML site should work fine for um, WordPress as well you'll just be have to be careful with your custom CSS for that so I hope you found that useful if you have please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in web development please take one of our web development courses below 
We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers and there's also some great free courses down there. So do have a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.